Thanks. Uh, Monica? Yes? Could I talk to you for a minute? Uh, of course. Um, Rick just told me about the night, um, that he wasn't able to complete surgery and you took over for him. And I wanted to tell you how grateful I am that you were there to help him. It must have been a very traumatic experience for him. Uh, yes, yes it was, but I felt responsible for it in many ways. Well, I mean, because of Alan trying to undermine him with the board. Did you know that Alan had made a full confession of that to Rick just last night? Yes, yes, Alan told me. I think it took a lot of courage to do that. I really admire him. Well, maybe, but um, Alan owed it to Rick for everything he'd done. Look, I, I better join Rick and I see. Okay. Monica, um, there's one more thing I really have to say. What? I understand a lot of what Alan went through because I had uh, kind of a problem with jealousy myself. Uh, maybe not to the same degree that Alan did, but I have to tell you, it was a terrible, terrible thing to have to live with and deal with. And I want to tell you this because, um, because it's over now. We've, we've never been happier, and I want you to know that there is no more bitterness or jealousy at all. Thank you. I, I'm glad, and I hope you'll always be happy. Thank you. I just left Mrs. Kikorian. Whatever the problem was, it seems to have cleared itself up. I examined her very carefully myself. I'm hoping it's just a normal post-op symptom. Oh, what I don't understand is why didn't she have those symptoms before she was brought into emergency? Well, they can suddenly uh, appear to come from nowhere, Monica, especially with a frail woman who's just now starting to carry a child. I mean, it's not usual, no, but it does happen. I talked to her husband earlier. You know, he's been practically living here since he brought her in. I was very touched by his devotion. Really wants that baby. Well, I hope you'll have it. I wanted to thank you. Uh, thank you for being so gracious in accepting Alan's apology. To admire his guts for doing it. It was a sticky situation. Couldn't handle it any other way but graciously. Why? What do you mean? He also apologized for having ever thought that you or I could be unfaithful to our mates. I know, I know. He said the same thing to me last night. So I am now once again living in a lie. Boy, I really thought that was going to be over for me. I know what you mean. That's the one area that I'm having trouble with my relationship with Leslie. I have always been honest with her, and this is one time I don't. I mean, Rick, I think this is one thing you never can be honest about. This is the kind of truth that can be hurtful. I know that. That's why I haven't told her. Well, what if she asks you directly? I don't know, Monica, and I have thought about that, but I just don't know. I have never lied to her before. Actually, the... The real truth is that sometimes in our life, things just happen. I think you put it very well when you said it was just a wild, crazy thing that happened because of a very peculiar and specific set of circumstances. Well, that's exactly what it was. May I ask you something? You don't have to answer. What? How are things working out between you and Alan? Fine. Good. Good. Glad to hear that. Monica, I'd like to say something once. That's all, and I will never say it again. Your happiness is just as important to me as my own. I didn't know that. 
Ken, it's not just because of what happened the other night. There's a very special bond between the two of us. Always be there. I don't think we could destroy it if we tried to. Oops, Helen. Tears you're fighting back? <laughs> no, not serious ones. I, I would like to think that if there is ever anything, no matter what it is, that you would be able to come to me with it. Hey, of course I know that. It goes without saying. Good. Don't forget that. Oh! Yes, I have to apologize for intruding again, but Alan want me to come and ask you, Rick, if you would mind going to his office as soon as you're free. I'm free right now. See you tomorrow morning, if not before. Okay. Hold it. Well, we have the time. I think maybe we should just clear the air a little. Oh, Monica, please. I think everything's as clear as crystal. Well, then, uh, I'd appreciate it if you just listen to me. If you're going to give me a warning about causing trouble, I've already had that lecture from my brother. Thank you very much. Maybe mine will be slightly different. I'll never like you or trust you again, Tracy. And I won't be hypocritical and pretend fondness. But I will tolerate your presence because I love Lila and Edward. I find it insufferable to be tolerated by someone like you. Whatever, that's the way it's going to be. Whenever it's necessary for us to be together because you are Alan's sister. And I want to say this again. If you try this, Anything like this, I'm going to go straight to Steve Hardy. I will tell him that I am sure you stole the sign-out sheets from his locked file cabinet in his office. And Mitch won't have anything to do with you. He wouldn't be involved in a scandal, not in the middle of a political campaign. So you'd be left high and dry. And this is what I'm going to hold over your head, Tracy. Good. I'm glad it's out in the open now, Monica. But don't you worry about your precious little marriage. I won't have to do a thing to destroy it. In fact, I'm just going to sit by and watch you do it all by yourself. You know, I've never been much for spectator sports, but I think I'm going to like this one a lot. You enjoy your little reconciliation, Monica, while it lasts. <laughs> regular visitor these days. Is he here asking about Laura again? No. If I was to ask for the court's consent, to marry Laura, as, as soon as she's well enough. In the beginning, chocolates with a big block of chocolate. Do you know how wonderful it was for me to wake up with you next to me again this morning? Yes. I hope you felt the same way. Of course. How about proving it? <laughs> 